but I go to the chiropractor three times a week. Um, really have trouble with my lower back. It's helped a whole lot. That's one of the reasons I bought a stand-on mower is the chiropractor told me that I did not need to be sitting on a riding mower and that grinding on my back that I needed to be walking or standing. And so that was one of the reasons I went to a stand-on. And so I'm going down here to get to Harley and I'm gonna ride down to the chiropractor. Thought you might wanna ride along. And then I'm gonna talk a little more about my lawn care and uh, just give you a little more insight into that. So just come along for the ride. My wife said that y'all were probably thinking I needed to clean out the garage. Um, as you know, I've got rental property and sometimes the people don't want the garage. And so if they don't, I take that out of the price of the rent and then I use it. And so that's why my bike's at a different location. Before I get into talking about uh, the lawn care, I just wanted to mention to you that, um, you know, October's coming up. Uh, every year, Russellville has what's called the October Festival. Uh, it's just kind of a per small parade here in town and uh, a lot of things to do with uh, tobacco and such because there's still a lot of tobacco raised in this area. Um, but anyway, uh, during that tobacco festival, uh, there is an old, uh, used to be a bank, it's not a bank anymore, but uh, it's a real old bank uh, that has been preserved. It's an old bank that Jesse James robbed, and they have a reenactment of that every year. Uh, there's a lot of homes here that are built in the late 1700s and early 1800s uh, that have been preserved. And so Russellville has a lot of, if you like, things like that. Russellville has a lot of rich history in the area of uh, things like that that have been preserved, old homes and and such. So uh, a lot of these uh, older homes uh, have been turned into bed and breakfasts. So you can, uh, you know, stay in them at a bed and breakfast. And so uh, that's just kind of something I wanted to throw in on this video before I got into the lawn care. Now, in talking about my lawn care and talking about lawn care in general, I'm not saying that this is the best way to do it. This is the way to operate your business. Um, there's a lot of successful lawn care businesses. I'm just telling you the way that I operated and how I did. Um, you know, in the last video I made, I mentioned that when I first got started, I kind of just drove everywhere there was to go, anywhere if somebody called me. I didn't care if the grass was as high as my head. Uh, I didn't care. I was just trying to get out there and get my name out there. But all along, I knew that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to specialize in lawn care. And I wanted to be known for that. And once I got to that area, I cut down the amount of lawns that I had and I just took what I wanted. I would not mow any bi-weeklies. Uh, I only mowed lawns that I did lawn treatments on. And I had a lot of lawns I did lawn treatments on that I didn't mow. Most of those people mowed their own. Now, if those people were going on vacation, uh, had a health issue, or some reason they couldn't mow their lawn, and they called me and wanted me to mow their lawn, I would do that because those were weekly mowed lawns. They were lawns they were taken care of and they were kept nice. And uh, plus I was doing their lawn treatments. And so I would do that for them if they were on vacation, health issues or things of that nature that they maybe need me to mow, to mow it a couple, two or three weeks. So I would do that. But if somebody called me just out of the blue and said, hey, I haven't been able to get to my lawn or whatever and can you run by and mow it? 
uh, I wouldn't do that. I wasn't doing the lawn treatments, and I wasn't connected, you know, to doing that. And I wanted them to know I was a specialty lawn business. Okay, I'm out of the chiropractor's office. Uh, I'm going to take a little ride and show you a little something. Okay, look, getting back to the lawn care. Uh, as I was mentioning before I took the break, that, um, you know, I would get phone calls from time to time and say, you know, like, um, I haven't been able to get to my lawn in two or three weeks. Uh, it's kind of gotten overgrown. Um, I know it's going to take a big mower to get through it. Will you run over and mow that lawn for me, take care of it? And I, I would just explain to them I would not, that that's not what I do. I'm a specialty lawn care. Uh, now, if you want me to come by and talk to you about me taking care of your lawn and the lawn treatments and so on, then I'll be glad to do that. But if that's not what you're looking for, uh, I know several guys in the area that do that kind of stuff. I can give you their phone numbers, and uh, they'll go by and do that. Another thing I want to say to you is, uh, you know, I mowed plus I did the lawn treatments. Um, and then I had the skid loader that you saw and I had a power rake where I fixed people's lawns and did things like that or, you know, put in lawns on new, new properties. But anyway, if I was doing lawn treatments on somebody's lawn, you know, somebody else mowed that lawn, I in no way ever tried to take that lawn. I wasn't interested in taking that lawn. I didn't want that lawn because I, I wasn't going to do that to somebody else that had a mowing business. And I appreciated getting the, you know, the opportunity to put the chemicals on. But I would never try to take that lawn or would I take it from somebody because I know, knew most of the people in the area that uh, took lawns, you know, that mowed lawns. Now, if there was a, somebody called me and they wasn't doing lawn treatments, somebody else mowed the lawn and, you know, hey, we're wanting our lawn to look like what you're doing to these other lawns, then those I would take. But um, I never tried to take any business from somebody that I was doing the lawn treatments on it and they already had somebody mowing their, their lawn. Okay, we're going to make a left turn up here in just a minute and I'm going to point out to you the lawns that I mowed and how um, this is a way you can really make money mowing when you get your lawns this tight. Um, so we're going to make this turn. I'm not, I had a whole lot of lawns up here that I did the lawn treatments to and those people mowed their lawns. I'm not going to point out the ones that I did the lawn care to. I'm going to show you uh, the ones that I mowed. Okay, uh, this one right here on your right, I took care of that lawn. And um, also you're going to notice as we go up through this area, there's no one up here that's mowing now that's doing the lawn treatments. A few of the lawns are treated. Uh, they have a company come in and treat them. But you're going to notice they're not striping the lawns up. They're not, um, they're just not manicured like they used to be. And it's really surprising to me how no one around this area wants to do that. And uh, so anyway, here we go. We're starting in right here. And I would park uh, right along in here somewhere and I would mow two lawns right here. And then I'd come on around this curve right here and um, make a turn right here and I would park right along right here and I would take care of two lawns right here and then I would park um, right here on the left and I would take care of two more lawns right here and then I would come and park uh, right along in here and I'd take care of another lawn and then come down to this corner down here and I would park um, I'll show you right here I'd park right along in here and I'd take care of three lawns right here and then we'd uh, go just a little piece right up <coughs> the road up here and I would park right here and I'd take care of one lawn and then I would uh, we'd come right on up here I'd park right here and take care of a lawn and then I'd pull right up here 
And I'd park right along in here and I'd take care of three lawns. Then we'd come right on up to this next corner up here. And I would park right here and take care of two lawns. And then I would park right here and take care of three lawns. And that was it around that outside circle. And so when you get them that tight in there, all of these yards were close to an acre, if not an acre. And they were lawns that were anywhere from $45 to $75. Now outside of here, I had a, a few lawns that were, I had a couple lawns that were in the $100 range and a little more than $100 per mowing. And uh, I didn't keep very many lawns outside of this area right here. I just had a few. But when you get your lawns that tight like that, you know, boy, it really helps you to uh, be efficient on your time. And uh, it's really a good way to really make money. Um, okay, and one of the things I want to mention is I came up into this area here when I got, it was probably about three years into my lawn care. When I made it, to start coming into that area right there. The way that I picked up those lawns is I would ask them, what, have, what are you used to paying? What have you been paying to have your, your lawn mowed? And they would tell me. And then I would tell them, okay, for the first month, I will mow it for that. And then after I mow it for the first month and I keep up with my time, see how long it takes me to mow it, because I had come up with a price that I wanted per hour for mowing. And so then I would tell the people, I'll mow it for what you've been used to paying for the first month. And then I'm going to keep up with my time. After we're done that month, I'll bring you a bill. And then I'm going to tell you if I'm going to need to be higher. Because, yes, I'm going to age. And your lawn's not been being aged. I'm going to age out your flower beds, etc. And the different things I'm going to do. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time than your other person you presently have is spending so I'm probably going to be a little bit more and so that's kind of the way that um, I started pricing my lawns is when somebody would call me uh, if they didn't have anybody mowing their lawn and they I was going to be the first person they'd been mowing it themselves and then they wanted me to mow it I would tell them you know I'll mow it for you for the first month I'm going to bring you a bill and that's what my price then will be I'm going to keep up with my time each mowing and then I'll tell you how much my mowing is per per mowing. I'll bring you a bill. Uh, you'll pay that bill. But if that's more than you want to spend, that's not what you're wanting to spend, I totally understand. There's no hard feelings. There's no problem whatsoever. And uh, so I started doing that at that level uh, of when I was mowing. And then, as I said, I had the... Uh, fertilize program, the weed and feed program that I did. Now, I also want to say that uh, I had a tractor with a power rake uh, where I could do dirt work and dirt leveling and fixing lawns and etc. And you know, you always start thinking the grass is greener on the other side because I started getting really busy with doing a lot of dirt work and power raking and things like that. So I thought, you know, I need a skid loader. And so I went out and bought a skid loader, lots of attachments to it, had a lot of money tied up in that. And, um, you know, that's not really what I did. There's like some guys that have talked about staying in your niche. And so when I moved up into that level, I was trying to mow, plus trying to do the dirt work and things. And they each kind of fought themselves because I needed to go be doing dirt work, but I needed to be taking care of lawns. And so, you know, I didn't stay within my niche. I'll put it that way. If I'd have just stayed with the mowing, the lawn treatments, and doing a little bit of, like, I had the tractor with the, with the power rake and stuff and stayed in that level right there, that's when I made the most clear, clear money. But when I stepped out and then I spent a whole lot more money, um, then I wasn't making as clear of money. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching as always and have a good day.